What's up, gang? It's Jay coming at you from camp. We uh, we have a gorgeous fall weekend out here, so we made sure we are taking advantage of it by getting out in the woods. Nothing fancy today. We um, I'm gonna get ready to cook dinner here in, in a little bit. And um, I told my boy, I said, hey, I'm gonna now that the sun is starting to starting to drop here um, it's below the tree line, that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the uh, to the back forty and. Do a little evening squirrel hunting and um, see if I can bring anything back to add to dinner. So far, no luck. But hey, it is what it is. Nothing like a uh, nothing like a good walk in the woods. So this is kind of just a basic wood woods bum and loadout. I don't know what you want to call it, right? So I have on. Um, well, actually, you know, I'll start here. We have a new 22 rifle setup from Bear Creek Arsenal. This is their 10 and a half inch. 22 long rifle pistol upper on a AR pistol lower. So we have that going on here today. So the, so far so good. Um, we spent some time on the range over the last week with it and was extremely happy with it. So it's going to make a nice little, nice little camp gun, I think. So we have that going on with us up on top. We have from Tacticon, we have their three by magnifier, and then we have one of their red dot sites so more to come on this setup here this is a uh, solar powered red dot setup and um a three by magnifier on risers so it brings them up a little bit more i tell you what i'm really i'm digging the higher height there for out here in the woods as a uh, as a woods gun or a camp gun that's um that's really nice so again on the front we have one of the knockoff of the surefire m300s so nice and simple there. So we have that. And we have one of the um, BCM CAG uh, hand stops. And then we have the Bear Creek pistol lower. We have the SB tactical uh, pistol brace on there. And then a Crydex rifle sling. So pretty um, pretty basic setup. But I tell you what, this is uh, this is a lot of fun to carry around, a lot of fun to shoot. So 10 and a half inch, 22 LR upper. So we got that. Boom. All right. So what else do we have going on here? So also the nice thing that I like with the Woods Bum and Loadout is I love the, the Hill People um, kit bags or the any style bag like that. There's a whole plethora of them out there. So I like that. Some radio with us so I can stay in contact with my son back at camp so that is working great we've checked in a few times have not had any issues because we're out here carrying a firearm and we're actively hunting um i have a tourniquet at the ready there so you know heaven forbid you're to have a negligent discharge or get shot or shoot yourself Jeez, oh man um having that tourniquet nice and on the ready is perfect so in my specific kit bag, I keep, I mean, I have my cell phone in here. I have a signaling panel. I have a map of the property here. I have my compass in there. So all that is just nice and right, right there up front, easy to grab. Main compartment here. You want to open all the way up. Carry my reading glasses because, you know, I'm getting older. So have that. I have in here a Swiss Army knife, a lighter, a Sharpie, a notepad. I have a whistle. I have a red LED light, a chem light, and um, oh, a small boo-boo kit in here as well. Got a couple granola bars in there, and that is about it. So that's um, just a nice basic, just admin stuff that you can keep right up, right up front and center there for you. So that's all, all nice and put right there in i always carry a day pack when i'm out here just to be able to carry water if anything else dry socks things like that so i have dry socks i have a small um camp stove in there for brewing coffee out here and then i have a waffle top for some a little bit of insulation in case i decide to stay a little bit a little bit later out i have a uh, my night vision in here i have a pair of binoculars in here as well i have a first aid kit I have three liters of water. Um, actually, I have two liters in the water bladder. And then I have a spare one liter bottle in there as well. And um, I think that's about it. I'm sure there's a few other things in there that I'm forgetting. 
but we have that. So on top here, I have a tiger stripe boonie hat, and then I have a coyote brown BDU top. You can see there, right? So this is made by Condor, I believe. This is their cadet top. I'll tell you what, I've worn it a few times, and um, now that fall has hit, I, um, you'll probably see me wear it a little bit more out here because I like I like that color. I think it color blocks nice and um, you know mix it up with different bottoms, different different hats, different gloves, and um, it's a nice top. I don't know, I like it. So hey, I'm gonna keep wearing it, right? So something else that I'm wearing that I don't I don't normally wear any kind of a um, a gun belt or a battle belt out here at camp. Um, if I'm on the range and we're doing range drills and stuff, sure. I wear a battle belt, but I, back here, I'm like, you know what? Coyotes are active right now. Um, why not carry a regular pistol with me while I am out in the field? So I do have my battle belt on. So we have that. Um, this is the, here, let's bring the camera down a little bit. If you guys can see a little bit better there. Or maybe you guys can see that a little bit better there. So we have the, um, this is a Crydex uh, two-piece battle belt. It has the Velcro inner with the Molly outer on it. So I have a pistol reload on that. I have a spare 22 AR mag on me as well. In Crydex pouches, I have a field knife on me. <coughs> Excuse me. I have another um, first aid kit and tourniquets on the back. And then I have my sidearm as well in the, um, we have the Safari Land 6354 holster there. And we have the new Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly 101 pistol. So we have that set up with a red dot and then a Streamlight TLR1 uh, pistol light on there as well. So this has been a nice, a, uh, a nice pistol. Um, it's breaking in real nice so far. It's been accurate. It's been reliable. So I'm very pleased with that. This this is their Glock 17 clone is what this their, this pistol is. So you have your 17 round magazines for it. And um, it fits in a Glock 17 Safari Land holster. So I'm not going to not going to go I'm not going to. Not going to complain about that, that's for sure. So that, that works out really nice there. So we have that going on here as well today. And then, yes, for the haters out there, I'm wearing blue jeans. So it is what it is. And I have on just a normal pair of hiking boots. So that's it. No need to get all fancy. We're just we're out camping, and it's my woods bumming load out. So anyways, that's all we got here today, guys. Um questions comments whatever put them down below you guys know how this works and um yeah i'm getting hungry time to go get uh shovel some hot coals and get some burgers going that's uh that's tonight's menu so anyways that's all we got guys you guys be good keep getting out there keep training and we'll talk to you guys soon later